Hi, I'm Hugo Madeira and in this short video I will be sharing the first step from digital workflow, the infrared scanner for digital impression, how and when to use. There are several stages on the adoption of technology and innovation. Traditionally, the standard treatment approach consisted of conventional impression techniques and models. By now, computer technology is related to consistent accuracy and results in a simplified work process with reduced labor. So in this video, we will see the key steps to adopt a digital approach that begins with an internal scanner. The accuracy of the impression is affected by implant angulation, number of implants, technique and impression material. Even though no technique has been yet identified as the gold standard, intraoral scanner impressions can be considered a reliable alternative for fixed implant prosthetic restorations. In this short video, we will show you how to use the new Stroman scanner, the Virtu Vivo. The advantages related to this intraoral scanner are First, it's easy to handle thanks to its ergonomic handpiece that provides comfort to the user, the real color scanning allowing a better communication and easier margin marking, and the gesture and voice control with its motion control technology that allows touch-free manipulation. The internal scanner is the gadget just like your smartphone. You need to try it and get used to it. The learning curve is fast as a result of your daily clinical practice. First of all, let me give you some tips about the Stroman Intraoral Scanner. No treatment plan for study models, orthodontic aligners, surgical drill guides and partial dentures in which you can't select the teeth because it's a general scan. Preparation scans to acquire a scan of an area prior to preparation. Select gingiva scan when implants are indicated to scan the emergency profile before. Now we will start our internal scan. First, we choose an option of upper gingiva because we want to have our gingiva profile before to scan the scan body. Yeah. And then we choose the tooth. In this case, it's a 14. We'll choose the prosthesis, that is a final crown here. So we'll choose the zirconia material. And then we will choose our implant. Of course, Strauman. A bone a level in this case, narrow platform. And then you can choose the color. You can choose the thirds yes. in the color. In this case, we use the, 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 the Vita. The Vita. We have different uh, scales and because we will when it's just A3. A3. Okay. And then let's go for our scan. Here we need to remove first our provisional crown. Open a little bit, please. Okay, so here you start by scanning the upper gingiva. You only scan the emergency profile and the lateral mm -hmm. teeth that you want. Now we will lock our scan. Yeah. You have that option. Okay. And then you do like a circle on the emergency profile. And then next. Now we will put our scan body in the position. The scan body is for our implant, for our narrow, narrow platform implant, BRT. We always try to put the flat platform to buckle. buckle to merge then the virtual scan body. Yeah. In this part you detect the scan body and you do the full arch scan. In this case we will not do the full arch, we will do half arch. Mm -hmm. Okay. As you can see we can mm -hmm. see the, the scan body very clearly. The definition of the image is very good. And because the end piece is it's easy mm. to manage. It's very small. And it's comfortable for the patient. Now it's the time to validate our implant. So you go to your tool yeah. and you can see that we selected the NC on the scan body. Narrow platform. And then 
we go to the next step. And because we have like a auto cleaning tool, the uh, the artifacts like the tongue yeah. and the lips will disappear automatically. Right now. Okay. 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 Now we can also see the the, the magic the tool, the gesture yeah. control. Okay. You can easily see the images and you can choose your tools. Yeah, we can choose what step we want in length, for example, if you want to go to the, the next uh, step. button, we choose like this. Yeah. And we go. Very good. Without go to touching the lower. our monitor. Now let's go to the, the lower. In this case, our scan body interferes with a uh, with the occlusion, bite. with a bite. So we need to remove it before asking the patient to do the, the bite. We already had the upper jaw as a reference and now we just have to scan the inferior until we have the okay. model. Okay. And because okay. we have always these lights, we can always be more centered in the patient because mm -hmm. we have a green light that is saying that the scan is okay. Now we have our final scan and we want to check if we have enough space for our final crown. In this case, we can see the visibility. We can see if we have the... Open and close open your eyes. And then yes. we want to validate occlusal distance. In this case, for example, we can see that we have enough space. Yeah, you okay. can open and see the contact points. Yeah in occlusal surfaces. Next to you, you can see uh, your impression, you can see if, uh, check if yeah. everything is okay, yeah. you can do your lab information. Yeah. And then if you want, you can add some notes, attachments, imagine that you have a picture, a color picture, or everything that you want to have, you had here, and then you send to the lab. Easy, no? And predictable. Yeah. And efficient. So, when you do a scan for a screw retained prosthesis, first you start scanning the scan body and the digital impression using the internal scanner. Then the scan body surface has to match in the software with the implant library. And then, when the implant is positioned in the digital model, you can design and process the rehabilitation in a CAD CAM software or print or Miller model with the analogs and then fabricate the prosthesis. Advances in digital technology provide the tools for diagnosis treatment planning, placement and restoration of implants in a truly transformative way. With an internal scanner, it makes the planning much efficient and predictable, as well as optimizing the workflow between doctor, surgeon and the lab. You quickly step into the digital mindset. In implant cases, the location of prosthesis can be merged from the digital wax up to a prosthetically driven implant planning. The digital scanner is a must-have in our daily work. From my point of view, this is the most reliable choice for our everyday cases. And I can say, it is really life-changing.